Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. Here with my father, Kevin. And today, <laughs> that was a quiet one. Quiet. Nice and subtle. Uh, today, we are covering an album that uh, a lot of people have been wanting you to hear. You know this man. You've heard his production. Mm -hmm. We scared some hoes yeah. with, uh, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. <laughs> JPEG Mafia, veteran. Uh, this is... Not actually his debut record. Uh, somebody on our Patreon corrected me uh, recently. I thought I thought this was the debut, but um, apparently the record before was actually his official debut. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a mixtape. This is his second record, but this is really the entry point for a lot of people. Um, it was the entry point for me. He's known for his wild uh, experimental production, mm -hmm. pushing boundaries. Uh, what do you know about JPEG? I found out today that he is truly a veteran. Um, uh, from the Iraq war. And I, and I, there's part of me that goes, wow. Like you think you cover a lot in your life and then you real you start looking into people and you like he, other people. <laughs> yeah. He was in the air force for four years. And then he's, he's carved out this really fucking amazing career of this, of really, really great music. Right. Yeah. And then you go, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? Track number one, 1539 in Calvert. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I need all my bitches same color as Drake. If they not, then they get in rock. Put that Pyrex in the pot. I don't care about your fucking status. Peggy got no fur. Yeah. Fucking backing tracks are so, so good. Cool. Cool. It's like the, it gotta be 808, right? Yeah. Hit it. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. That was really good. You know what? I, if I catch, if I go back and catch these lyrics, you can tell me if I'm wrong and just say, Dad, you're an old fuck. Okay. Okay. Um, is there a diss? Yeah, there's like slight disses. To, I mean, to Drake? To seem, it seems like they're almost like, you know, like parody in a way like yeah yeah like i don't think he's that serious about the disses like you'll notice some disses on here and yeah he's he's known for saying like some controversial stuff but not really controversial yeah see the one i was saying i don't give a fuck if you if you're out there in the six yeah like is... yeah like the, those like they're like little shots but they're not yeah, really yeah. too you know serious i think no it's, no it's more just uh him really just speaking his mind freely yeah. You know, he's just very open. Yeah. Well, I like this like, one too. Like I cut this one credit my credit like my name was Chad. Yeah, yeah. Like these fuck those are those are like Yeah. Great. I mean, he he throws in some stuff that's like, you know, uh like very uh yeah. it, it talks on like different situations in in the United States. He'll talk about political situations. he'll bring in political people, he'll bring in celebrities. That's the, that's what I'm getting here. The whole mix here. Like he's got Shardy trying to give that dick to Kelly Conway. Like yeah, yeah, like you yeah, know exactly. the Repu Republican and Yeah, yeah, no. So right? he's he's really tuned into all that kind of stuff and he's just speaking his mind on this yeah, uh, yeah. and and you know then doing all the production himself. So it's a it's a really unique uh, he's a really unique artist and a, and a very is a very interesting project. But a very very I'm gonna go like I've I've dug into the lyrics a little bit here, but the of the, the production was so fucking done in such a I'm gonna say soft, okay? Mm -hmm. But soft in terms of like there's nothing squealed out. It was just mm -hmm. you know, ah, fuck out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't, it, was, it sat in that pocket. It of, sat in of, that really like, nice comfort. nice pocket, and then those little. Click, Duke's all yeah. in there, right? And then the of the eight oh eights. Yeah, no, it was a that, cool, it was a cool track. Really, I could really hear me listening to this in the car. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah, right. I, I've done it many times. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll go to the next track. Track number two. You think you know me? Soft as shit, bitch. Shit, bitch. Ah. <laughs> Holy shit! Beat him like rhythm roulette. AR built like Lena Dunham when I shoot our men. Crackers be singing like chorus. Chopper be changing their pitch. Chopper pay a nigga rent. Fuck us up, tweets up, pop niggas heads off like piss. Sock it to a nigga like mankind and motherfuck that flag nigga we dying. Cat, cat, 
guy in the background. Old dirty. This is such a dope sample clip. <laughs> Ah, smoking. Yeah. Great, great pro mount. Great programming. Yeah. If he programmed these. Fuck, I love the boundaries he pushes, man. That was fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> what so, a way to take that sample. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you knew the song beforehand because it just adds <laughs> oh, so much. Oh my like, God. If, if you didn't know that that was yeah. you know, a sample, it, it still would be great. But yeah. The fact that you can, you know, you recognize that and then you're like, holy shit, this is fucking such a cool interpolation of yeah. it. Yeah. It's great that he didn't go. This is what I love that I loved about the death, death grip so much and experimental hip hop is that. He didn't go down and bring like he went did, did, uh, uh, and then it was yeah. it was into that. But then his his vocals just came right in, and I like that they were extremely clear. Yeah, they weren't off in the back reverb. No, no, and not distorted. They were just yet. they were there, and they were just so good. And that contrast between the crazy and the clear. Yeah, is is perfect. It's great. I like the choice on that one too. That was f fucking fantastic. And the drum programming is just <laughs> it's just insane, man. This is this is this. I'll tell you right now. Listening to this is uh, like if if we get into if we did a SZA or or, or a Tame and Paler or whatever today, something right? Something very convent, not so, conventional, but just you but know something something you'll, I, you'll recognize. Something and yeah, something I would I would I, you you sort of know the patterns, right? Yeah, you know what you're getting yeah, into. Yeah, th this is like an Amazon box delivered that I didn't order because I was on acid. Yeah, and right. And I opened it up, and there's tomato paste in there yeah, and two you, condoms. You're just picking up different things. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Where what does is, this come from? Why did? <laughs> so, yeah. So when you when you say pull up the next song, I'm like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, like it, where are we going yeah and that's the excitement of it right yes that's, that's the yeah. great thing track number three thug tears This would go so hard in that little club. Yeah. Kill me. No time. Holy shit. I guess up for the new line. Uh, I'm making nigga cry for help. I'm making nigga cry for himself. <laughs> it's a uh... It's a pretty wild ride on that one. That was really wild. That was like wild, wild, the West. I was going to say this, out of all the tracks so far, this one, I would not want to play it if I was stoned. Oh, yeah, you'd get tripped the fuck out. Because there was shit going on, like, I think people are talking about me. You'd and... think there'd be someone you know, yes, yeah, in the yeah. house <laughs> beside yeah. you. Yeah, no, I'd be yeah. like, yeah. No, I wouldn't listen to that on, like, shrooms or anything. <laughs> no, definitely not, no way. Um, next track is, a, if I remember correctly, it's an instrumental. We're going to go into track four damn and then uh i'll let that play into track five baby i'm bleeding wow that's big shit in the background eh yeah <laughs> That I wouldn't want to either be on <laughs> something. Peggy, where you been at? Getting all this promo. When it comes to money, bet these niggas is a no show. When I say us bet, I don't mean no fucking group. Peggy been a solo access, Looney Tunes and Goofy Truths. Catch me up in Boston. Got a better genie. Oh, I'm up in Brownsville. Strapped with a Kimba. Oh, you do Oh, that's great. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Chains on my body. Looking like a rapper. Acting like a slave when I'm gunning for my masters, nigga. 
That was fire. <laughs> Great track. That was absolute fire, man. The build up from the beginning. Yes. Just stuff constantly coming in until that verse finally comes in. And then he is just so aggressive. You can hear him building man. up his aggression before with his, his fuck. Yeah, yeah, fuck. yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of muffled. And then and right then, when that, that when the when a, when a fucking snare, and, whatever yeah, you want to call it. snare came in. When that finally on. comes in and then it just fucking pushes the beat. Yeah. Like it's, it elevates everything. But that boom. <laughs> you, you, that's what great fucking thinking out of the box is. Yes, 100%. Like that is like, that that would like, you do that. Maybe some somebody would, you know, produce it and do it maybe a few times. Yeah. And, and then, then keep it away. But no, but that there keeps that fucking aggression. Yeah, it's a fucking you know <laughs> all that shit, right? It's, yeah, it keeps it built up. And he comes in so hard uh, with his vocals, and uh, that's one you'll definitely want to dive into the lyrics. I, you know, again. I I have to I have to dive in the lyrics. But that yes. was fucking fire. That I, that was whew, great track. That was a great track, and and lots lots and lots of stuff to dig out of there, man. Wow. Track number six. My thoughts on NeoGAF dying. I don't care. 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 I don't care about the cars. I don't care about your flash. I don't care about your phone. He's got a little, so many little things to keep you entertained, man. Yeah. I don't care. That's what I like. I don't care. Man, I don't care. I'll get around to it. I don't care. I don't want to. I like the coughing. So, yeah, kind of a track that's like, you know, if you're listening to the album front to back, it sounds great in there. Yeah. The production's dope. Um, and his, his vocal, like you were saying, there's so much going on oh, yeah. to uh, keep you entertained. <clears throat> Not one that you'd like, you know, pick out and put into a playlist or listen. No, on your I, own time. I, no, but 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 no, like, picking out all the great shit in it, man. Like like first off, it, uh, I guess it's toned down. Yes, like, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. The vocals care. are, are yeah. definitely pitched. A he pitched bit. it down to you, right? To my yeah, to my voice. I don't, I don't, I don't, care. don't care. But I want to say about the, the just the drums, like he had. And some, and way over here, and he had to pick all those out and choose, and choose, you know. and choose where where to put them. Why over there? And there yeah. was there was one that was only once. Yeah, yeah. So these are all conscious decisions. You know, it's not yeah. like he just picked a drum loop and then that's, just that's, let it go, and then you know, that's he, you're reading my balls. That's yes. exactly what I'm trying to say. Like that's not that's he's he's that's creating that's not going into garage band and pulling that thing in and then like, just doing the vocals over top no he's, no he's like creating an actual art piece you know that for everything that one minute is and 30 something yeah. seconds it's all picked out and constructed. yeah so and and man kudos to you because uh, man I, I to get 10 seconds together for me is fucking hard yeah and you you're know? talking about sexual sexual yeah yes. i cannot put even 10 <laughs> seconds together track number seven rock and roll is dead. Which is this part here, just creating this. You think you know me? Gone with the sauce, got the four box tucked in the bag. Hit him with the heart, not fucking drop, whip him with the strap. Bitch, I'm coming to your house. Let's get freaky with the strap. Nasty. We don't fuck with all right. Y'all ain't never been a threat. Why? See that that there that making that yeah. decision. I say that pussy's off the Richter. No shit I fuck that shit. Fuck your baby sitter. I can't breathe. How many cars does it take to make this shit an easy race? I don't know how he makes it sound like you're in a fucking sewer. <laughs> it's eh? I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> it's it's it it is so intense. Yes, it is so so intense. But I I'm gonna start with this. The way he sucks his samples 
and has them on the beat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And has them and they're <laughs> Like yeah. that is fucking great. Do you it, that through that whole thing, man? I I don't know if it was a drip or what, but it it really felt like a sewer. Th- <sighs> you were in a massive sewer, and you could hear. Bloop, yeah, bloop. until the end when the birds. That's when you then came you, out. you you came out of the fucking sewer <laughs> yeah. into the sun, and you're walking around. You're like, holy like, oh, shit, shit! It's nice out today. Track eight, DD form, two fourteen. Hmm. <laughs> that goes. Yeah, it's cool to hear uh, like someone else's voice on this production, uh, right? That just the sounds are so. I fun. love that. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing favors for petty pay. Call me your Peggy the skank. I get the ratchet and clank. I whip that ass like Sasha Banks. I whip your ass like I'm Bruce Wayne with the cape, nigga. <laughs> one leg on the ceiling and the other one just across the closet door. Oh fuck me. Oh just <laughs> I love that oh, sorry, love the female. I, I love the having the different voice on there. Yeah. My, my question now is, you know, we're nine tracks nine tracks into the record. You've heard some of his production. Do you understand why people were so excited when they heard that JPEG was going to be producing with Danny Brown. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his production style is so unique. So it's like, as much as everybody loves hearing him on it. Yeah. Like you just craved like, man, I wonder what this person would sound like on here. Well, that's the, that was the female right yeah, now. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Danny Brown was like, you know, a perfect fit. But there's yeah. so many artists, I, I wonder like, what would Jid sound like on uh, oh, JPEG production? Wow. Like he would fucking kill it. Um, so many other artists I could, I could think of like, you know, Oh, Jid just, would kill it. Like, yeah, you got, you hit it. Like his, 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 his voice that. Yeah. Imagine Jid on JPEG production. It would, it would be wild. Um, oh, Jid on JPEG. That's, yeah. That fucking sells it right there. That's the album title. Jid on JPEG. <laughs> I'd buy a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Peggy Jid. Track number nine, Germs. <laughs> can, can I just read the, all I have on Genius? Yeah. It just all it says to me the ninth and the possibly the weirdest song. Yes, that's that, I don't like that, that it tells me that. I want to make that decision on my own. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely that's a creature from Jurassic Park. That <laughs> off top, bitch, I'm rolling. Catch you home. Right? Fucking love this the backing of this. This fresh prince, no prince, son is ever shot. Kill Trump, do him like Floyd did Gotti. You know I give it, I said it, you know that I'm grand prize. His fucking mind. I tell you, I dig his fucking mind so much. Okay, I. That was fucking so, so cool. I don't know what they mean by weirdest. It, we, I don't think it's the weirdest. No. I, I don't know. If, whatever they say, weirdest. I think that for me, that was like, 
absolutely like one of the coolest <laughs> one of the coolest tracks on that the, that that raptor thing going <laughs> or whatever yeah. and that that having and that There's is the, so many changes oh uh, uh, that was so cool even you know what when it goes to what they call the chorus um i think it's it's not a chorus no it's not it's where I thought was the course. And then he went off and he was doing the singing and stuff like that. And all mm. that was over there. That was just, it was so different, but it was just, it was like me staring at a piece of art that I just, it was. You it's, got it. I got it. Yes. Yeah. It's like, you look at it and you're like, I understand. You're this. staring at it. You get the colors and you're like, fuck, I get it. I get it. I get it. And I get it. And I was just saying, I love his mind, man, because there's just that weird part in me that is like, is that that you want to do that type yes, of shit? Like, yeah, and I've done it. Like I like doing that vocalization. Like, yeah, yeah, just the just the weird shit and the, the unconventional things. Yes. Yeah, because it and it fucking feels good. It's rewarding. It, you know what it is. It, and when you do, I'm gonna fucking do some weird shit with my hands. But when you when you actually let yourself out, and I understand when people dance and they're really fucked. And I'm yeah, I, when I dance, I dance really fucked up. You know that, right? Yeah, I go, yeah. Woo! And I do really weird shit, right? But that's really letting out the shit that's in your body and your soul, right? Yeah. No, it's expressing yourself and just getting that release. Yes. And that here, what he just created, that was that was full of that really, that release that you have built up for whatever. Yeah. It just, he just, it just spit out, man, in this really fucking cool way. That was a cool track. Yeah. And, but, and again, to the, the cool thing about it and the amazing thing and the great thing is that he constructed that. That's not just pulling shit in and I'm going to grab this apple and apple and apple. Apple, and apple. loops and stuff. Yeah, all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like that's, that's what makes it so special. Like anybody, I said, any, any ear that's just doesn't know music or hasn't worked on creating, They'll just go, what a bunch of noise. Yeah, no, but it's not. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's curated. Every, everything yes. comes together. He has to, you know, consciously pick all these sounds and these noises. Yeah. And everything that fits into the track and choose when to stop things and slow it down and, yeah, all that. There's these records in certain genres that are boundary pushing and try new ideas. And I think they're the foundation of, of the future of, of music, to be I, honest. I, 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 I totally agree. And you know what? As if you want to write like conventional uh, pop or, or conventional, That's hip, nothing wrong with that. No, or conventional hip hop or anything like that. But you take maybe two elements. Yeah, just small pieces of it. Take some inspiration. And take it. some inspiration and do something different. And and uh, the reverses and and just uh, everything like anything that he he creates in here is is uh, that was exciting yeah, for me. That, that was, was a great one. I'm gonna I gotta tell write genius and say you're fucking weird. <laughs> Track number ten, Libtard Anthem. Word on the street, you're a rock star. Heard you be a bitch with a guitar. Clout. Heard you ain't bitches with a clout. You be the bitch with a clout. clout. You bitch up for some clout. Turn off, clout. Clout. top down. Burn out, finger out. Hey. I ain't gonna feel bad. Wow, <laughs> I ain't gonna lose these styles. Off for the clout. Ooh. Where's Where's the street clout. Where's the street, fuck Tyron? Where's the street, you lip tart? Where's the street, yo, Bill Maher? Where's the street, you fuck Tom Larn? Where's the street, I know my real mom. You think? Sorry, sorry, going into the next one. Yeah, it's a short one. That was, yeah. Another I, one of those, like, almost uh, interlude-esque yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah. Track 11, Panic Emoji. That's cool, eh? I'd love to sit in the studio with him. Oh, big, yeah. Just watch him work. Keep us, keep us, keep moving. DOA to the base, face away, leg shape. Wow, this is the, one of the, the most spacious song I've heard. Sure. Other than that interlude. Yeah, yeah. Crackers keep calling me aces. I put a snake on the hook. All of you yuppies is piss. You ain't never hit a jug. Pew, vein. I can hear Jit on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love this beat. Such a such a cool beat. Yeah. And I'm getting cash. You ain't never that. Ooh, yeah. I am a op. Wrist cut, wrist cut, wrist cut. Great death on the block. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah. Is he in the shower? I don't know. Oh. There's water. I don't know. Okay. Shower. Could be. Wow, that I, I, that was really really cool. That was I for me on this album this, the most stand spacious out. and stand out in terms of like wideness and openness and not super super choppy, which is really cool to see that there's a little break. And he does do that. Mm -hmm. Which is like, you know what I mean? He has he has this preference of doing the quick chops and stuff like that and samples, but to have that nice space there without that everything going on and and um and by the way it it shows you at the beginning here and it's it's that one it's uh, I'll re recreate it it's I think they I think they took it from uh, the scream the the famous painting the scream oh yeah, yeah yeah right I look like I'm getting a fucking giving a... I'll use that for the thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> yeah no one of the cooler songs production wise I know, I know you could say that about most songs on here but to me that's one of my favorite uh, just beats yeah like, really I, really really good like if he ever drops a you know, fucking ten year anniversary in twenty twenty eight. Yeah, uh, and it comes with all the instrumentals. I'm playing that one on repeat. Track twelve, DJ Snitch Bitch Interlude. Hulk Hogan, known to keep the thing smoking. Steady fucking with a blonde. I think I'm Frank. O DJ Snitch, you are not a man, bitch. You're a fucking token. Giuliani suck a dick. That's the fucking slogan. Black new money, new habits. Yeah. Make you disappear with no trace. That's tragic. Nah. Riding down Calvert in a caddy with a ratchet. Pussy call the cops and must have caught you giving badges. <laughs> The thing that throws me off is the high pitched hissing. Yeah. I couldn't sleep to that, right? Interlude there. That uh, was cool. Cool. I, I dig the music, but I think there's way more in there lyrically that I, I need to wanna, look at. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty pretty deep, right? Yeah, no. Uh that's one that's uh Another one that I said where it's like you're not going to throw it on uh, just in a playlist. Yeah. But, you know, listening to the album front to back, it's a great track. It makes, it makes, it, it goes, yeah. It's yeah, just, and it, it makes the album what it is. Yeah, it has um, a flow, right? Track 13, Whole Foods. Bitch, I shop for Whole Foods like I'm bougie. <laughs> Ask the blunt, my mind is missing. Tweet my shit, I need dimensions. Stop pretending. Look. Riding around the city like a sad bitch Hurt me till I die, close to blind bitch When you was looking stupid, stick to music I am the black god, fucking human, Stanley Kubrick You know this rapping shit be therapeutic Oh, wow Change up Totally change up The clock is still there, the metronome, but the I'm out the window looking real stupid Fuck that perfect dark nigga for the job. So I zip him up, put him in a bag like I'm picking up dog shit. Do you hear those these shots? Oh, that's the end. What shots? No, the bujika. And then yeah. the tick 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 That's a, that's another like lyrically heavier song with like less on the instrumental side yeah so probably one that you'll want to uh you know dive into on your yeah it wasn't too freaky in terms of music i love that though i love that but i love also when that big raw it, yeah, it, 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 it dropped out and then it went to the second verse yeah right? my favorite my highlight for me on that track is the first line though bitch i shop at whole foods because i'm or like i'm bougie I know. <laughs> track number 14 Nice. Cool guitar work. Really cool. Sup. I got my hands on my face like Macaulay Culkin. Gave her the sig, but I left the smoking. Nasty. Just for me. Yo style is my custody, man. I should charge a shipping fee. These rappers don't mean shit to me. Sounding like my mini-me's, but you ain't got the heart to do these evil deeds. Deborah Pack, turn stone cold in a simple steam. That's great, yeah. line. Slap a nigga up. These punk niggas be killing me. Yeah. That whack shit ain't trill to me. Yeah. Fuck y'all niggas, I take the heat. Shit, nigga. Really fucking pushing the frequencies, eh? Yeah, fucking round. Yeah. Knobs. Thought that that was good. 
Yeah. That was good. That was, you know, I love the, that he's done this twice on this album so far where he's given you this space break. Yes. From the chaos. And I love that really, that guitar. Yeah. And pretty straightforward with the bars, you know, and it yeah. wasn't anything too crazy. It wasn't, yeah. the, the verses weren't split up and, and vocal chopped yeah. or anything. It was just straight, you know, yeah. lyrical content with uh, with a really cool. But there's so much to dive into here. Yeah. Like I love, I, there's so many lines, but I picked out the stone cold, right? Mm. But there's fucking so much to extrapolate, man. Yeah, I'm excited for you to go like re-listen to this a few times, like front to back, no pausing, not not us talking. Yeah, you know, it, it's such a great record to just throw on, and uh, and really, you know, get yourself immersed in it. Track 15, Williamsburg. Selling art to these yuppies getting mixed off. I'm in New York like I'm Peter Parker. I'm a slave to this rap shit, I can't quit. Fresh seg with the grip. A yippee pop shit, call the gun. Britney Jean, when the spears come out, I hit you and JT. Put the hawk eyes on him, heard he like mash. You gon' rust in peace, heard you like thrash. Put a price on oh, I like rust in peace. Yeah. Yeah. From me like Mike back, whoa. This is trippy space, eh? Yeah. This is a fire beat, man. I know, I love the... Yeah. I walk in the booth like I own it, I know it. Be my man. These fuck niggas ain't like that. Y'all niggas, y'all feel like rats all. Fuck, he always freaks me out with that. Yeah. He fucks me up with those those uh, the statics, because I had to grow up with that. You you didn't right? No, my dad used to go change go ch you know change the TV right? Yeah. So I'd walk up to the TV. He'd be laying on the couch smoking a cigarette and he goes change it to the fucking hockey on, game, uh, whatever. It? And I go up there and the TV would be cranked and it go right. So you'd <laughs> yeah. hear that. So every time he does, that, I'm fucking jumping. Like no, a, to me that's new. That's a new sound. That's, it. <laughs> that's something that's brand new. It's yeah, been it would, invented recently. Cool track lyric. Another one lyrically you want to dive into later. I'm sure. Yeah, that um, was way off for me. Like I, and then uh, you know, the second half is more just kind of that instrumental, and it's a it's a hypnotic kind of just you know really well produced. Yeah, beat track number sixteen. I cannot fucking wait till Morrissey dies. Tom, Tom. Bard, Bard, Morrissey, yeah, bunch of timid white who can't fuck with me. Oh. My daddy told me these white bitches can't keep a key. That's nice. Yeah. Fuck a Johnny Rotten. I want low B. I'm a left wing Haiti. He's 26 with a fresh 380. I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it down in the country, baby. I know my dick, cause I'm edgy. Sit your pale ass down, have a Pepsi. Yeah. Way past for legacy. This is venting. Was that? I love that. That wasn't a shot at Morrissey, was it? The what? gunshot? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's just going into the next one. That another was short. Short, short one, yeah. Another one that's uh, short and, uh, like I said, flows with the album. Um, I need, I, I'm really going to sit with this right now. Right at this moment. You guys are going to have to just wait. Oh, you want to read through? Uh, I mean, do you know much about Morrissey in terms of his controversial stuff? No, not at all. This I I, I saw I saw him recently uh, walk out of somewhere, and people were his fans were trying to talk to him, and he totally dissed them. Like he oh. did, didn't even look at them in that. So I just reading here that the this is JPEG Mafia's diss track against Morrissey, the famous English vocalist and former lead singer of the Smiths. The song is the result of Morrissey producing and selling an offensive shirt. Um, using the likeness and image of American novelist and social critic James Baldwin. Yeah, I think I read an article. Like I, I haven't done my my Morrissey lore. I'm not uh, I'm not caught up on everything. Um, but I I remember reading an article once because I was curious. You know, I'd see all the Morrissey hate, uh, 
Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, what did, what did he do? So I looked at an article and it was like the top five. It was like, give us, if you have a article that says the top five worst things you've done, <laughs> that's already a really bad sign. <laughs> Track 17, Rainbow Six. I think you know me. Bullet on the block with the Glock cop. Holy shit. <laughs> That's not that bad. It's freaking me out. <laughs> it's a cre- this is a creepy track. Pull up on your block with a pistol. Slap you up, nigga. Love boy. Just miss the phone. I don't give a fuck. Right? Punch you with some bitch. Blood, bloody, 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 blood. Smack you fucking up, nigga. I take the stuff. Grab your fucking up, nigga. Put you in a truck. What you niggas want? I can honestly say I've never heard something like this. Anything like this. Like, boundary pushing. Yeah. Especially that. Yeah. Oh. Surface level niggas never get it. Fuck a rating and a cynic. Always talking, never living, nigga. I don't make no music for God, I love that corner, right? They want to be yeah. a critic, but they cannot take no criticism. I'm a killer, nigga. What? Fuck is this song? Fuck is my whip? Fuck up your stream. Huh? I got the rips. We at your job. Huh? That you will shift. Nigga, you gone. Be alone. I'm around you, baby. I got so much on me. That is the most haunting thing I have heard that we've listened to. Between that guy sounding like he's actually dying at the last breath. Oh, that I can't even do that. Bet- that sample. That sample and. Just the the whole thing, the way it was constructed, was really, really eerie. Like eerie. Like I've heard, I've heard like stuff like with you know Def Grips and stuff like that. But that yeah. was that was that was just fucking eerie. But not saying I'm not saying that's bad. I'm it's to to do that to and be able get to capture that to capture that and pull that and make me feel that is 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 incredible. Yeah. I don't know how to. F- I don't know. How- I can't explain how I feel. Kind of in some weird lost. Well, I feel space, s- space but but very hypnotized, and with the way this music is, is um, it 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 takes a certain ear, and people who like it like it, and people who dislike it, it, it scares the hose, right? Yeah, you played at the party. Um, I'd never play that. Right, but yeah. I would go back to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, that's the that is that's the, the feeling. That's the feeling. It's such a good thing, man. Lyrically, it had some re- great lyrics as well, man. Yeah, track eighteen, fourteen eighty-eight. Well, I like when he's using guitar. Yeah, <sighs> sounds like a nice big fat Gresh guitar. Sounds like he's in a grocery store or something. <laughs> yeah, damn. Oh, you ain't got your flag now, nigga. What? You are not against. You're a hostage. Rap game thirsty. Piss same color as logic. White boys act tough. Yeah. Don't give no fuss. Heard he acting like Dex. Eat his ass till he rusts. I heard she pray to Allah. Now, bitch, you praying to me. I do this shit for Khalif. These coppers begging for war. Do niggas marching for peace. Hell, I'm right in that Billy Cool. Bitch, bitch, fuck a drum. Hell, I'm fucking cool. Bitch, Holy shit. Fuck you on the pay. I got these. Another, another cool, really real cool production, and I'm sounding like a fucking broken record here, but that uh, starting with the guitar, starting with the guitar was really really cool, and then it then it just went it just it was gone. Um, 
but there's I know there's fucking tons in here that to extrapolate, man. Like lyrically, it's yeah. Well, that's why I'm excited you, for you to, to yeah. listen to. Like, obviously, I'm excited. For, I was excited for your reaction, but uh, I'm honestly more excited for you to you know re-listen on your own time. I, yeah, track nineteen, curb stomp. You. <laughs> He's going hard on this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, he was he was vocally curb stomping. Yes, people there. That was like yeah. <laughs> fucking at the end there. The oh baby, I'm dying. Like yeah. wow, man, he was just vocally. Uh, yeah, that's one of the high points on the record. I'd wow, say. just that energy, man. That he's just given out. Wow, that is veteran. That is your full first full JPEG Mafia project because scaring the hose was uh, Danny Brown. Yeah. yeah, collab. This is your first taste to jpeg mafia how do you feel i really really enjoyed the artistic part of this it was i think um diving in and having the appreciation as a musician listening to this and understanding how much work it takes to do this and it's not just a push of a button um Mm -hmm. is is really really cool and he's pushed some boundaries um the track the one that freaked the living shit out of me germs or no no uh, uh rainbow six yeah rainbow six was very 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 haunting i i've listened to lots of metal and and you know creepy f- tracks. creepy tracks but that g- gave me a new level of creep so that one that takes the top for like making me have eerie feelings with that fucking whoa yeah right um I loved. I absolutely. My for one of my highlights on this whole thing was uh, fucking Dob doing the, oh, the yeah, oh, 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 oh. and then him using that and then yeah. coming in with the beat. That yeah. was that was it was fantastic. One part I feel really lost at, and this is my all, in all honesty, is I feel really lost when I can't connect to the lyrics and things are over my head. So those two components, they. You know, for me, I I I feel like I'm. Well, you're a big lyrical person, right? You love, yeah, yeah. You love uh, you know diving into what an artist has to say. So yeah, I think for a first listen for you, uh, it's definitely going to be tough catching a lot of the references because uh, obviously, like I I didn't catch half of the references on my first listen. Yeah, I, mean, I was it was like 18 when it came out. Um, yeah, because you know 17. that like I I know I know that uh, I'm going to call him Peggy if that's okay. Yeah, good. Uh I I know that the especially in that song there it was was he's Peggy spitting stuff out and I'm getting it in terms of the I'm getting the emotion that he's putting out, but if I can connect what he's saying lyrically as it, well with it evokes emotion. something in me that you yeah. know it it brings it out. He knows what he's saying and when he's spitting it well, he, you feel the power and the, the emotion. Yeah, I feel the power and the emotion. But when he's when he's when he's writing his when he has those lyrics and he knows what he's saying, right? Um, and he's throwing it out. It must feel amazing because he's he knows all the references and yeah. and he's got the, the 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 emotion behind it. For me, I'm just hearing the emotion behind it, and I'm not getting all the references. Yeah, so I'm not getting the substance, right? Yes. So um, once I dive into the substance a little bit more, and then I know I know that this project will be better for me, right? Yeah, it will. Just you already like it, but you're gonna like it more. Yeah, once I start, yeah. I, 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 what I'm gonna do, I don't know how I'm gonna do this one because um, if I'm just gonna sit and like, you know, I guess genius is my option, right? Yeah, genius, and and then just read watching interviews around from this yeah. time. You know, I'm sure yeah. there's some interviews on YouTube that we'll, yeah. we'll talk about. You know, behind, you know, behind the scenes and whatnot. Yeah, but this was very enjoyable, and uh, and I think that um, you know. Like you said earlier, with Carolyn Polachek and, and JPEG and uh, Death Grips and uh, Clipping, um, 
all those take if you're writing take components you don't have to do this you don't have to have to make a record just like veteran no but you can take inspiration from veteran and put it into your you know work as if you're a if you're a musician uh right now making music and uh i think that's why these records are so important like you know they're pushing these boundaries and giving influence to you know other artists i had a lot of fun today you had some fun. I had lots of fun. You're I, feeling better. I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm physically feeling better, and I feel really good that we did this album. And uh, uh, again, another thing that you've inspired me with to uh, create uh, some music. Well, not me exactly, but uh, well, you JPEG. showed it to me. We sat and did yeah. it together. So yeah, so JPEG, uh, right? Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you had a great time. Uh, we will have some more content coming out. Uh, take care, guys. Take care. See you soon. Peace. Bye bye.